Good morning, Vietnam. Uh, a big, big quantity of uh, of your energy is uh, going to uh, those uh, structure of energy, uh, which are soulless, but uh, they live because of the humans. So, for example, the structure of energy of belonging to your country. When if you feel something, when you you look at these uh, racks, they call flags, country flags. If you feel something inside, uh, part of energy of you is going uh, toward this uh, egregore, they call them, energetic construct, soulless. So part of your very own energy is going to feed this egregore, which is the egregore of your country, your nationality. Okay. Uh, if there was only those, we will be kind of okay, but there is a huge quantity of those egregores. Uh, your religion, if you feel belonging to one religion and you, you have a belief system and you believe in a book and you feel something about this structure, this egregore, uh, your energy is feeding this soulless being, okay? Um, many of them, you know, uh, your color your race, you know, your race, you may made an egregore out of it because your color is somehow a group of people have the same and you kind of feel about it like it's something important. You are just caught into this egregore of uh, race and you are uh, getting uh, sucked out of your energy, okay? because of your color of skin, you know, and thinking that uh, that it matters and entering this, uh, these fields of, a, of a, you know, of a structure of egregore, which feeds, feeds on it, okay? Uh, one very strong one is the egregore of the family. Egregore of the family, your family makes you uh, behave and uh, speak in a certain way, and uh, think a certain way and link it energetically, eth etherically uh, with, with the family, okay? It's, a, it's kind of a prison, okay? And it's, uh, those egregores stops the being from being uh, free, individualized, and uh, having uh, full um, access and uh, uh, the full uh, amount of their energy, their divine energy, okay? We structure it into uh, crappy shit to feed the egregores, okay? And it's a huge quantity of energy. Those are, the, are only some of the egregores. I didn't say if you if you are like kind of supporter of some sport team or something, you know? Or maybe you have been called conspiracy theory, you know, guy. You, they put you, they construct some egregores and now you have to enter in it, you know? Or flat earthers or something, you know? It doesn't matter, you know, if you enter, you, t you think you belong to something, you cut yourself from the whole stuff, you are starting to feed this uh, little egregores, no matter what is it, okay? Uh, like I said, the family one is very strong. I give you an example just a few days away. Something very good happened in the family, like there was a little bit of tension, a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, actually s someone who is uh, kind of uh, not expressing a lot expressed itself himself and I was kind of reacting not uh, you know not in a very kind way uh, because I thought there is something wrong so I didn't follow the egregoric behavior which would be to be kind you know uh, to this uh, specific uh, person even if it's uh, if uh, this person is very um, how would you say uh, like sensitive and everything I didn't take this side of uh, cultivating the same stories, the same egregor, but I went a little bit harsh, you know. And uh, actually, the situation, because it was uh, honest, um, kind of um, uh, went into a good direction where, where everybody is more free from the egregor, you know. But meanwhile, I received in form of dream some images, some situation which are uh, very uh, d disturbing like some nightmare, you know, like uh, that makes you feel good, some dark images and everything. And I said, oh shit, the stuff is defending itself, you know. I understood it, that it's this egregore defending itself, this uh, soulless entity 
which we built we built we have the energy we have the we have the capability we have the brain we have we have the souls we have all the shit and we make these egregores and this egregores defended it itself in a form of dream it was i cannot even say it's entities attacking me and they, they choose the right uh, the right stuff to disturb me i was disturbed but i didn't uh, i i didn't uh, took it more than it is it's not me producing it i i did feel it was a powerful imagery good scenario imagined by this egregores this egregore family egregore to disturb me but i went into uh, into more uh, exploration i didn't uh, go back to try to uh, to go in the right uh, sense of the egregore but i continue and i'm explaining it to you now and i explain to everybody how it works so we get free from this shit and everybody grow up in a, in a, in a family you know and be free from from the group uh, the egregore is very animalistic um, phenomena you know it's the animals being linked together you know we we should be linked together but with the consciousness with the with the higher um, higher way to do it not with egregores you know like when we talk with each other on the internet or something uh, we are not in a group of um, of uh, of conspiracy theories or this or that you know we, we respect each other we, we are happy to see the the other uh, way of of seeing the, the other way of moving moving all the stuff towards a better consciousness higher consciousness more freedom more joy but we don't group ourselves into egregores i mean we try we try i mean i'm, I'm, I'm talking but i'm doing it practically every day uh, one of it is to accept uh, to accept that your old version die your, the old versions of you which were trapped into this into something just let them die and forget it was not you you cannot be uh, you cannot be perfect back in time it's not you just let it go it was not me i behaved like this but i didn't know any better i didn't have the level of uh, of consciousness of vibration of now but now i have it so let the other version of you die sometimes it's too much like those uh, 84 hours i died two times big time like not, not small death but big deaths so it was a little bit too much then i said okay let's and we have the show must go on you know so sometimes it's hard to to really change that radical it's this is the the important death that we have to accept the physical death is just uh, just uh, protecting this uh, this life from a false uh, forms of beings you know otherwise we will have full of them basses around uh, we didn't life didn't make it yet this is where there is the physical death but behind it there is all this death death of falsehood so the more falsehood that is dying the more at certain moment this this the death physical death also is it's bullshit it's the, the dying of the bullshit the moment there is no bullshit uh, we will not die and uh, and uh, we can see that uh, everything is trying to uh, to be more awake and uh, nature expresses it in its own way like i said the dying uh, for example now uh, everybody is is somehow connected to the other so we are all the one how does the nature express this how does nature express that we all want to be one it is by eating each other that, that's the level of nature nature like a lion lion eating a gazelle like this insect eating this insect it's 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 the nature how it shows it because the nature is very practical it's not into uh, into philosophy you know it is in the fact of the matter you know so eating each other is a sign of everything wanting to be one again you know but, but of course we will not gonna at least when you eat eat with consciousness it's an act that you want the matter to be you you know so we have to find a higher level of contact with the matter higher a higher uh, way to uh, to be in the matter which which will which will so show us the real energy and we will be connected to this sea of energy uh, without eating each other you know um, so yeah we don't reject how the nature expresses itself you know even those creeps are are kind of manifesting some uh, uh, some duality you know that they want to put into one so they build two towers you know they make like they build them then they destroy them then they went they made one tower 
man, they are crazy, but they are expressing uh, some kind of duality, uh, possibly uh, mimicking us, mimics, just like Edge of Tomorrow, mimics, and they are mimicking us, us, we have a duality, spirit, matter, soul, body, which is going to be one, you know, we're going to be the creature and the, the creator will be one, you know, the matter and the spirit will be one. And in front of us, we see a ridiculous uh, version of it, which is the creeps. The creeps are into into mantle, into egregores, but the, the, the real being should be in, in its own soul, its own body, its own matter, you know, but they, they themselves, they make plan you know and numbers and and we have to do this then we, we we have to you know this do this political movement and this and this and they are just dragged by the the future which is obviously more more conscious what i see ob obviously more conscious because of me because i can see it in me i'm not choosing the line of more egregores and more uh, mental more thinking more thoughts being trapped in thoughts being in this pri prison of thinking so me myself for example I say, I say, creating with the thoughts is very bullshit. It, it was the last uh, egregore uh, defending itself in 2012 by putting this uh, the secret inside the, the, the game. It's it's keep thinking, keep keep creating egregores. You know, it's it's the same uh, mental field, the, the the field of egregores, the the field of of creating time, which is uh, defending itself by putting the secret. You know. Because people jumped a little bit up from the religion and up the reality put the secret. You know, trying to keep the contact, you know, with with those energies flowing. But uh, like I said, we choose the a higher higher purpose, which is uh, not needing to do business of uh, of asking and uh, waiting and receiving. You know, we have everything. The being has to have everything. He has he has to be uh, the quality of the everything. Okay, but you find it in yourself, you know, and then the, the nature will explain, ex express it. It will express it into our bodies. I have no idea how this is going to happen. We're going we're gonna to change. We are changing. Maybe we already changed the matter, like the reaction and the reaction happening uh, of the stinks. Maybe it's not the one uh, expected from the creeps, you know, for example, because we are getting more and more uh, consciousness, you know, so, so we are changing everything. Okay. So yeah, don't reject the, the nature, don't reject its, its way to express, and don't reject the matter, because the matter will be enlightened by your level of consciousness, you know? And, uh, and those uh, old versions of you always go, uh, living and dying are bringing a better version of you. So, so don't focus on the physical one. The physical one is, is, exa is exactly the same process, but in a more, I mean, more, you know, more, more showy. But uh, but it's going to disappear also once the matter is uh, is awake, when uh, we are one energetically and not uh, eating each other like the nature, and maybe being uh, the top predator, which is the creep, you know, which want everything, just just want everything, you know, eat everything, you know, all this is going to collapse, because we make it collapse inside of us, you know, into something higher. Okay, we're going to collapse all the mother, all that. Tower of Babel. It's a tower of Babel built by the mantle, and it's uh, the mantle going to its parox paroxysm. You know, cutting stuff into bits. It went into its paroxysm. We got the lesson. Higher principle will appear. It will appear in the beings. That means the collapsing of the matrix and the new reality, physical reality, guys. It will be practical, physical will appear behind the veil, the veil of this thick, thick uh, layers of, uh, of, um, of mantle, of lying, tower of Babel, uh, matrix, call it, whatever, everything can collapse, guy. Yeah, just be careful where you are when it collapses. Okay, see you next time.